at six, a Valley family went from shaken up to angry after they say a sign hit their car and the owners of the sign won't help them out. So when you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin has more. Everyone who's been in a fender bender knows the feeling in your gut when you get in an accident. Suddenly I feel a big, huge crashing sound on the side of my door, the passenger door. I thought I got hit by a car, I'm in an accident, I jumped, I screamed. But it was not another car that hit Lizette Harvey's car. The March windstorm blew this chunk of a sign into her car door. And the sign is advertising a State Farm insurance agent. I go out to the car and there is a piece of plastic wedged into the side of my door and it had sliced like a knife through the door. Her husband Harry contacted the agent's office. It turns out he says it's the insurance agent who's been representing his mom for decades. But instead of a check for the damage to the car, they got this letter. The insurance company covering the business park is also State Farm. Unless there's negligence on the sign or fault of the sign that I would have no st nowhere to stand on. Uh, it's an act of God, is was his words. It's not uncommon for insurance companies to cite an act of God when property is damaged after a weather event. But Harry and his wife think there was negligence in the maintaining of this sign. He used these pictures to show what he says are structural issues with the sign, but the property manager blamed it on the wind. He told us over the phone the brackets were only loose because of the wind, and it was the strong force of the wind in the right spot that ripped the sign out. He passed the buck back to State Farm, their insurance, for choosing not to help the Harveys. Fortunately, nobody was with me. Fortunately, the sign didn't go through the window. Had it gone up a few more inches, it could have gone through the window. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. And we looked into this story after a viewer emailed us about it. If you have a story you would like us to investigate, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktmv.com and be sure to include your telephone number. <laughs>